this is the book name. Nice to meet you again. Uh, we're starting second session of uh, CH Gold uh, Electroplating. Uh, today we're talking about uh, uh, operation and the maintenance of uh, CH Gold Electroplating bed. Uh, before I start, I would like to go over general process for electroplating for accessory and fashion jewelry. The most important process is cleaning. So you must clean your object before you start electroplating. Uh, first, the electroplating is copper cyanide plating, very thin layer, and getting the adhesion between the, your object and the following electroplating. And the second is copper sulfate plating or nickel chloride plating. This giving the uh, thickness of 3 to 5 micrometer. This giving the shiny, your electroplating. And then after that, we do the CH gold electroplating. This is uh, 10 to 30 seconds and giving the 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 micrometer, very thin layer. This giving the color. So after that, your persuasion process. So, uh, this is the entire process. Uh, uh, I just uh, go over preparation of CH gold electroplating solution. Okay, the uh, operation is there's a, there is a three uh, important category. First, materials. Second is condition. Third is uh, what kind of action do you need? during the uh, electroplating. The condition of maintenance of CH gold electroplating, I'm gonna uh, summarize as below. First, materials, uh, and second is operating condition of electroplating bath, and third is operating action. Uh, I'm gonna talk about this issue more detail today. First, uh, materials like a CH gold and then sodium cyanide and sodium hydroxide. Uh, these three materials should be well controlled by the your technician during the electroplating work to get the good result. Uh, in fact, it is not difficult. It is very easy. Uh, first, the concentration of CH gold is very wide, and then uh, working range also very wide. Just you need to measure the density by the hydrometer. The concentration of free cyanide is very important. The, giving the stable and the good electroplating performance on the wide range of uh, your electroplating density. Uh, if you lack of uh, free cyanide, then what happens is that uh, low density area and high density area, maybe color is a little bit different. So normally if you add a 2 or 4 grams of sodium cyanide for makeup, then you don't have those kind of problems. But for your uh, sake, you must know the concentration of uh, uh, free cyanide. That is uh, measured by titration. I will talk about more detail for that. And the sodium hydroxide is two functions. One is protect your free cyanide and electroplating solution against the oxidation by air. Second is the concentration of sodium hydroxide directly related to the color of electroplating result. Your titration and the check by the pH method. I would like to recommend the hydrometer more uh, precise uh, hydrometer. The concentration free cyanide and the sodium hydroxide you should be using the 
titration method, so you need a burette equipment and several chemicals. But uh, this case, you cannot use the clear uh, glass burette because uh, your chemical is very light sensitive, so you must use uh, the brown glass burette. And then uh, you can use the pH metal for the concentration of sodium hydroxide. I show you good pH method, but uh, you can find the more simple and cheap pH method is okay. The condition and maintenance process of CH gold electroplating solution, this is the way to do it. The, the key is record or mark the initial level of a makeup solution on your bed. Any method, you should do the level marker. These three equipment is good enough checking the concentration of free materials. And after you work for a day, the, uh, you check the level of the your spent electroplating solution uh, check by the level make marker then the, you fill up the deionized water up to the original level so it's going to, going to be dilute electroplating solution now you measure the, uh, the density of uh, your electroplating solution and then co concentration of sodium cyanide and sodium hydroxide based upon the, the data you got from the these three equipment. You can calculate the quantity of CH gold, sodium cyanide, and sodium hydroxide to your bath. And then you can also maintenance your electroplating bath. I recommend uh, you must have uh, this kind of uh, management sheet. So initial data, after work data, and so you can calculate difference, then you can calculate the supplementary amount. And then you must check again the, this property after supplement. If you accumulate this kind of data for uh, one or two months, figure out the whole system. I think it is very easy to control the CH gold solution for your electroplating bed. The CH gold has a lot of advantage, but one of them is that the operating concentration of CH gold is very wide. But normally, lots of people are using 100 gram to 150 gram per liter. It's basically is uh, almost identical. The speed of electroplating is a little bit different. Uh, normal operation condition 100 gram per liter. Uh, high density area or uh, low density area, giving the uniform uh, result. You have 100 gram per liter. It's okay to 110 gram per liter to 90 gram per liter is giving the similar result. So, you know, that's why this CH gold is very stable. The so supplement method, uh, you know, there's two uh, methods. One is by solution, one is by starting. By solution, you must prepare one day before. The concentration of, I think, 200 gram to 250 gram per liter, but you Please add a small sodium hydroxide. I think one gram per liter is enough. Solid case, you just add a, uh, your work done before you go home. You adding the certain quantity of solid, following by the pattern, a uh, few times, and you go home.
that's good enough. So that's the direct led to your concentration. My case, 100 gram per liter at 40 degrees, I have 1.05 gram per milliliter. That's the density of 100 gram per liter. And 150 gram per liter, I got 1.088 gram per milliliter. And then uh, uh, I ask you, you, you must be using the more precise hydrometer. This this one is maybe not working for this precise hydrometer. Uh, the management of CH4 based upon the your measuring density before you start work, and then you write down management sheet. Uh, after you work, I ask you dilute by di water up to the original level measure the density, then you can calculate the deviation, the difference of uh, initial and final. The summary of CH gold. Stable electroplatic performance on the wide operating range. Supplement method. Density should be measured by the precise hydrometer. The management of CH gold uh, using uh, management sheet. So you write down the density, uh, initial density, after work density, and after supplement. Based upon that data, you can calculate the quantity of CH gold for supplement. Free cyanide is very important for your back. So normal operation is 8 to 12 gram per liter. Free cyanide has sodium cyanide. You just add a 2 to 4 grams of uh, uh, sodium cyanide to your bath. The lack of uh, sodium cyanide, overall color is not uniform. So you add sodium cyanide, then usually solve the problem. And then uh, if you too much of sodium cyanide, it tends to be a little bit cloudy and the color is tend to be lighter than you wish. So uh, sodium cyanide, you should calculate by the titration. I already mentioned that you must be using the, the dark brown the buren. Don't use the clear uh, buren. Because the chemical is light sensitive. So sodium cyanide react with air especially carbon dioxide, they decompose the sodium carbonate easily. Uh, for protecting for those kind of things, we add a sodium hydroxide. From every day, you must have a certain quantity of sodium cyanide. I don't think this quantity is very big, but uh, every day, very similar quantity you need. So that's why I ask in one month you just the titration, then you know the certain temperature, certain working period time, then you can have a good idea how much sodium cyanide should add to your bath every day. I'm giving the some management sheet example, uh, some calculation information to your my presentation, so you just uh, look up those kind of things. We want a good operation of CH gold. You must have a, a proper concentration of free cyanide as sodium cyanide. Because of uh, free cyanide stabilizes uh, the electroplating path, 
giving the good result. So free cyanide very essential factor. By giving the decomposition process, the sodium cyanide is react with uh, uh, carbon dioxide and oxygen and water and turn into the sodium carbonate. Uh, sodium hydroxide react with uh, carbon dioxide and then turn into the sodium carbonate. For management uh, of free cyanide as sodium cyanide, you know, you accumulate this kind of data one or two months, you can figure it out what's going on there. I recommend uh, every day you're going to titration of your solution. I'm giving the titration method. Uh, what I, sh I should mention about uh, silver nitrate. Silver nitrate is very sensitive to the light. So for the titration, you must be using the dark. Uh, brown burette. Okay, uh, this is titration. I'm giving the calculation how to it. So I hope that this is helpful for you.